Okay, today's video, I just wanted to show how you can convert a photo for laser engraving, the best way that I've found really. I did post a video before, but I, I didn't have the audio and uh, it was hard to try and narrate it. So first of all, I just want to say thanks for nearly 5,000 subscribers. And thanks everyone for all the likes and views. And I'll get into this video. So the first thing I'm going to do, because this is quite easy to cut out, I'm just going to select the subject. If it's not so easy, normally I would just use the pen tool, like zoom in pretty close and just use the pen tool to cut it out. I'm going to press Ctrl and C to copy because I just want the dog, which is already selected, and then Ctrl and V to paste it. So now I've just got the dog. And because this dog's black and there's some very dark areas here that you can't see very well, I'm going to go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and bring the shadows up a bit. Maybe even the exposure a little touch, and I'm going to put the contrast a little bit. So you can see I just try to brighten this up a bit because you'll see in a minute. And so I'm happy with that there, and you see how much that brightened. So now I'm going to duplicate this two times, then go to an adjustment and go to black and white. So now it's turned all the layers underneath it black and white. And you can move these sliders depending, you know, what you want to show out. Really like, I try and go so it's kind of grey. And then that way, you know, the laser will pick it up. If you want, you know, you could go much whiter and then the areas around here, the laser is not going to pick up so well. But I'm going to darken that out a bit so it shows the hairs. And then just move these sliders around and just, you know, pick whatever you like best. Like I say, I'm just going with a nice contrast. So now you can clearly see every part of the dog now, really. A little bit of darkness here and there, but that's fine. So now with this top one, I'm going to press Ctrl and I to invert it. Change the blending mode to vivid light. Go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And then you want to slide this slider around till you get a kind of nice outline. So a little bit like a sketch. So once it looks like a sketch, yep, say OK. And now holding control click the layer below so they're both selected and then press control and g and that will group them two together and then you want to select overlay and i'll just quickly show like how that improves it so that's with the feature uh, with the filters on if i turn that off you can see how much softer this just you know contrasts it a lot better for the laser so i'm going to leave that on and pretty much that's done now. If it's there's if the little areas are a little bit dark, you want to brighten them up. If you make another adjustment layer and make it a solid color layer, and then you can just bring down the uh, opacity. So that's zero opacity. If I put it up to like 15, you can see how it brightens it up, and that would show on the laser. So I'm going to kind of go about here, which is 12%. So now you can clearly see every part. I'm going to go File, Export, Save for Web, and call it what you, click Save and then call it what you want. I'll just say Dog1. And then go to, on the internet, open up Image R. And then once you're on Image R, just go to Upload, Grayscale, because it's already black and white. Click the image. And then you'll see the image you load there. So now, depending on your laser, uh, no, sorry, first of all, what you want to do is go to resize, change pixels to inches, and pick the size you want. You can see, like, uh, 
I use quite a high megapixel camera, so this image is huge. So I'm gonna change this to 12 inches and it's already picked the height to match. So it's gonna be 12 inches wide, 16 inches tall. I want 260 dots per inch. That works about like best for my laser for what I've found. I have a Thunder Nova 80 watt. So I'm gonna click OK. And now that's just gonna resize that. Should take a few seconds. And you can see not much change because we only resized it. And then you wanna to go to material and here, it just depends, you know, what laser you have and stuff. I think it does tell you on these, yeah, mostly used for diode lasers. So if you have a diode laser, you wanna choose Norton. I'm gonna use CO2 and then pick, it's gonna be going onto wood. Okay, and now it will pick this up much better. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see. But you can see how it's actually made all the hairs. Now if I print this, it would, you know, it would come out perfectly like that. If there's something you don't like a little bit on here, you can also, over at the side, change some things you can mess with them sliders if you want normally i don't have to it kind of does a pretty good job straight away so and then once you've got it how you want so you download download the bmp and that will save up the top here and then you can just drag that directly from there into lightburn and drop it and there it is so yeah i just wanted to show that Yep, so that's about the best way I found really, and that will give a really nice, especially if you use borax, it really gives a nice, I'll show an example of one I did before, but yeah, if you use borax on that, it will come out exactly how you see in the photo there. So, yep, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll put out another video as soon as possible. Thank you.